if you watch the video in which I made this scene, well, set up the lighting in this scene anyway, then you'll know that I wasn't really very happy about this uh, blurred reflection effect here on the ground. So I thought I would address that, and while I was at it, we'll modify it so it makes it a little bit more interesting for rendering. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, the dragon there, and I'm going to try and bring something in from Das Studio, which uh, is not a piece of software I'm, I'm terribly familiar with, but I keep having a go at it. So this is the figure. What I found I need to do is get rid of that figure. Then if I go to the content, and I can load in something that's already there. So this is like a pre pre-built dressed model scene setup I think if I've managed to do that right or I've not selected the right thing now here I need to get this scene one I don't know what the other thing was I selected on there oops so I did say um, that I wasn't that familiar with this software so that's my excuse okay right Let's see if we can do this right this time right, I've got the scene uh, I'll, I'll just zoom away right with the model selected I'm going to choose a different pose. There's some like pre-made poses here. I want a line down pose um, because because that way she's. Uh, do I, which do I do? Which do I do? I'll turn limits off. See what happens. Hello, where's my figure gone? Oh, she's, she's down there. Okay, right. Um, and then oh, well, I don't know. How, I'm not really sure how to move the view, but the the figure's adopted this pose, and I wanted her that shape because she'd be more or less the same shape as the dragon in the scene. So if now I'll just send to Bryce and then hopefully when she's done she'll be converted and enter the scene. Uh, she's a little bit small than the dragon. I need to if I if I select a bit of her and scale it then she'll lose her hair and clothes which is a bit embarrassing. So what I'll do is I'll just select everything in that axis there and group it together then everything will stay together. So I'll scale her up a bit and rotate oops not that way rotate her round and I think she's underground at the moment so if I lift her up with that control there I can see this wireframe shadow my aim is to get it so it looks like a hand is on the surface and not going through the infinite plane I don't know whether that is or not it can be quite tricky to get that that bit right there okay well if I if I switch the preview mode so in render options I'll lower uh, to the four rays per pixel because I know it'll struggle with her hair transparency so and this, so if I just render that bit it looks like she's touching the surface I'm now going to change this material for the ground plane which caused the trouble last time so I go to material lab I'll reset it so it's just the default grey so I'm just checking the value on that and I'm going to have 100 diffusion I'm going to use uh, reflection I'm going to use 50 reflection so it's not super reflective and metallicity so that dulls the uh, colour depending on the angle that the camera's looking at it so it's brought some of the grey through into the reflection so that's my surface now and I can see in the preview that obviously the sun's going to light all the surface which is not really appropriate I don't want it to look like that I still want to be fairly focused on the model so I'll go into the Skylab and disable the sunlight and then I'm going to create a standard bright radial light which I'm going to use as, as a bit of a key lighting in this scene I'm going to have it um, sort of in front and above of uh, Vicky there and I'm going to um, change the value to squared so it fades off quite quickly oh, and also have soft shadow so I'll turn that up so if she's got any harsh geometry on her like some pixels, uh, not pixels, uh, triangles might show up if it was a hard shadow if I choose soft shadows it might hide that I'll look at my render options I'm not going to have blurry reflections after what happened last time but I have made sure I've got soft shadows set and true ambience so everything else is as it was set up for the dragon so I'll just give that a render now ok um, well that doesn't look too bad, it's a bit difficult to view with it being so uh, grainy so I'm going to move the camera around and focus in a little bit closer on the model because we've no interest in the reflections in this case. I just want to see that she's casting a bit of a shadow and that uh, the skin's highlighted slightly by this um, light source I've introduced. OK, I think I need a bit more light from that light source so I'm going to increase its diffuse value. I don't know whether there's any specular effect in the materials on the model because obviously I'm not really responsible for that, that's just as it's arrived so I'll increase the specular accordingly and uh, well, we'll see how that looks.
perhaps a bit bright on the hand there so I'll just move that light source up and round slightly so I, I want I want fairly natural looking lighting remembering that we've got the the advantage of having the the coloured light from the the gel lighting as well I think this is going to take a long time to render because of a hair so I'm going to set the document size down a bit make it a more manageable render so you should do it in, in a more reasonable time so that's set my scene up now all I need to do is go into the render options and increase to uh, 256 rays per pixel and we'll have a look how that's going to render out now you can see the line started and then it slowed down dramatically when it hit the transparency in the hair there so this is the, the main issue okay um, about three quarters of an hour so at this point I'll pause the video and we'll see how it looks when I'm done there you go I think that's not too bad for a quick scene conversion the issue with the blurred reflection uh, obviously I've got rid of that by getting rid of the blurred reflection I quite like this ground I like this effect uh, and uh, even though this transition zone we know as a result of the clipping of the light source uh, with the infinite plane it's uh, it looks quite nice in this case so I'm happy with that the um, the only issues that I can see directly looking at it is um, well there's this if you can see this uh, it's like a pixelization effect it's actually some artifacts coming from the geometry of the model and I think this is due to uh, an issue that Bryce has with object mesh smoothing uh, it's something that cropped up when you're looking at the curvature feature I won't really talk about that now because it, it's uh, it gets a bit involved but I think that's what's causing that problem there but other than that it all seems uh, it seems to have worked out quite well the hair is getting a little bit lost into the background but uh, Oh well, you realise these things after you've rendered it. The the soft shadow effect here, I think, uh, was suitable there and there. It's not too obvious, and we've still got quite good uh, ambient definition in these shadow regions that are lying outside the uh, the scope of the radial light. So, yeah, that'll do.